Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I am going to be talking to you about spring essentials. I'm excited for spring. Winter was lovely, I enjoyed it, and I'm excited for spring. So let's talk about spring fashion and the things that would keep us looking classic and pretty most of the spring days. So yeah, let's, let's get to it. So the first thing I think you need in your closet for spring an essential <laughs> is a button down shirt. This is a striped one from H&M and uh, there's not much one can say about a button down shirt but I think it fits effortlessly with every style. You can wear this with jeans, with um, tailored pants, with a short skirt and boots, with shorts. It just works. It's a very classic and yet functional piece in your closet so I think this is an essential um, originally I thought like white but I personally don't keep uh, white shirts for for very long I always stain them something always happens to them so for those who can keep white a striped one like this would do or this one this is from Beaufort and Blake this is a cotton blend and it's a lot thicker. So for colder spring days, I think this would work well. And even like cold summer nights, because most of these pieces, I think you can carry them into the summer too, but they are perfect for spring. And uh, yeah, a button down shirt. I finally found a brown button down shirt. I've been looking for one for a while that was not necessarily linen and was on the darker side. This one is more of a chocolate tone this is from Buffett and Blake I think I mentioned that and gorgeous just just gorgeous it feels nice I haven't washed this though so um, I don't know if it washes well I think it should okay so the next spring essential is a pair of jeans I have one on right now and you see it in the cutouts and the jeans in the cutouts have ribs in them and I know ripped jeans are not really considered classy or classic but away with the rules <laughs> away with the rules and um just wear whatever makes you feel comfortable or, or makes you feel good and right now these are the only pair of jeans i have in my closet that makes me feel good i invested in a pair of victor beckham jeans almost two years ago now i think at least 18 months ago and I've worn those jeans to death. I have, I wear them, I used to wear them every time I would be going out or just being in the house, traveling, I wore them a lot and I am sick and tired of them. So back to the straight leg jean and the ripped jean. I, I need to invest in a few pairs of jeans that I really like and um, then that can come back and be part of the rotation. But for now, you get the ripped jeans, straight leg, I'm comfortable, I feel nice, that's all that matters. So find you a pair of jeans that you're comfortable in and you feel good in. And then it can be part of your spring uniform. The next thing that I feel is an essential in your closet for spring is a cap or a hat. Now I have this leather one from another stories and you see in the cutout, it's styled with the jeans and the shirt. It just looks good. I feel anytime you have a bad hair day, which is me most days now, put on a lip, nice face, pop on the hat to mask your, <laughs> your hair when it's not um, behaving, and you're good to go. I picked this up from the store on Bond Street. I don't know, I think it was sold out online, but I would link it. The leather is quite good and it was less than, it was less than a hundred pounds. I think it's like 65 pounds. Um, so very affordable. And I'm gonna link all the ones that I had my eye on, but I wanted to be sure that I would get the wear out of it. And I have gotten the wear out of it, so. I think it's essentially just it just works even oh, I'm messing up my hair now but even with this outfit I think it makes sense 
The next thing that I feel is essential in your closet for spring will be tailor pants. And I have this black one. This is a totem one. I don't know if it's still available in the stores, but I will link a couple down below, a couple that I have my eye on. This functional, it goes well even with the outfit that I'm wearing right now, but you would see it styled in the cutaway. It just makes sense in your closet. If you're into like ripped or baggy jeans and you want to be, you have a formal occasion or you want a place, or you're going to a place where you want to look classic and um, put together, a smart pair of pants work so if you have one in your closet in whatever is your color scheme because i know not everybody's into black i know everybody will be comfortable wearing black during um springtime they've done that in the winter and they're ready for like bright colors so if you lean more to like whites like i said i don't really keep white well the only time i would really invest in anything white would be probably a dress um, so you can go with white or you can go with whatever your main color is. So like navy blue, pink, whatever. Like I said earlier, I struggle to find things that I want in chocolate brown. I would love a pair of pants like this in a beautiful chocolate brown color, but I struggle finding that. So if you guys know anywhere that I can find good quality chocolate brown tailored trousers, please. <laughs> Put it down in the comments and I would take a look at it. But I have been trying for months and I haven't found any. And I don't want like a wide leg, a wide leg, um, wide leg trousers. I just want like a tapered, smart chocolate brown pant. And I can't seem to find one. So, so the next thing I think you need in your closet for spring, an essential, will be a lovely scarf. I have this scarf from the brand. Aspery. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but this was a lovely gift from Julian um, a few months ago and I have kept it in the box that kept the packaging because everything about this scarf is just makes my heart very happy. I have been wanting to invest in scarves for a long time and um, this is the first that is actually mine that I'm not, that I'm not staying for my mom. This is what it looks like in here. And this is the stuff. How beautiful is this? It is so gorgeous. I love the print of it and I get to more towards um, like darker colors, um, so I love the browns. Although it feels very like autumny, I think most people will regard this as, as like autumn colors or winter colors. For me, this works all year round, and I think a lovely scarf would work well in your closet for spring. Now I don't know how to do anything fancy with the scarf. I need to learn. So a scarf, I think, would be very functional in your wardrobe. You can use it as a tie. You can use it just to add interest to a very plain, simple outfit, like a white dress. You can use it as a belt on, like, your jeans or, like, trousers, just to give your outfit interest, just to add texture to the outfit you can get very creative with it but having a few lovely scarves i think would elevate your spring look and your spring closet the next item that i think you need in your closet for spring will be some nice sunglasses now i have these ones from celine and these ones from gucci i haven't really invested in sunglasses in a long time Actually, that's not true. The last, I bought this last year, about this time last year, I picked this up. And for me, sunglasses are not something that I, I like wearing because I haven't perfected my makeup enough for it not to mess up my makeup. 
so I would usually wear them on days where I do not have any makeup on but for the girls that have mastered <laughs> not ruining their makeup with sunglasses I think having one that suits the, the shape of your face just adds a chicness, a coolness to your outfit. So whichever one works for you, invest in, invest in it. The next thing that I think is essential in your closet for spring would be loafers or flat shoes. I have these ones from LV. I got this a few years ago and I need to get the wear out of them. When I bought them, I wore them so much and they have been packed away somewhere in storage. And I got them out because I want to get more wear out of them. They are comfortable. It doesn't have to be this. I don't really get along with flat shoes well. It's either going to be a combat boot for me or ankle boots. And I really struggle in summer with shoes. So most times I end up in combat boots because flat shoes hurt my feet so much. So if you are comfortable in flat shoes, then a nice pair of flats. I saw a denim Manolo Blonic. I'm going to put it on the screen here. It is so beautiful. I, don't, I think it's like from a couple of seasons ago. I need to scour the internet or the outlets for, um, for those flats and may wear them as much as I can. I don't think I'm going to be doing like many steps in them, but I want to look cute. I'm getting in an Uber or in a car going somewhere that I can wear the shoes. I, I think I need one of those. But for what I have in my closet right now, this is it. And I think it's essential for, for spring. It, this works for me because it has a bit of a height to it. So my legs are not killing me and I can wear them with, I can wear this with a white dress, a black dress, with um, smart pants, with jeans. That's usually like my uniform. Those are the things that, that I wear. I'm not really into skirts. I don't, I don't wear a lot of short skirts or anything like that. But the things that I have in my closet, it works. And I think loafers or flat shoes would work with any style, any any style that you have it will work. And finding one that that suits you, that you're comfortable in and works for you, you're good to go. So it could be brogues, but just nice flat shoes that you can wear in spring. Um, essential. The last thing that I feel you need in your closet for spring is, <coughs> excuse me, is a printed dress. Now this one is from Zimmerman, it's a floral dress. The print of it is stunning. There is not much I can say about, about that. It's just a stunning dress. And you can wear this in the spring and you can also get use out of it in the summer, so it works. And another dress with the different prints that is not, actually this, this is a floral print but less of a, like a girly print and less feminine than the Zimmerman dress would be this dress that I have from Banquet Rukou. I boxed this on the channel um, last year. It's made out of silk, versatile dress. You can, on a cold spring day, you can pop a roll neck underneath, have on a pair of boots and cinch it in. On a nice sunny spring day cinch in cinch in with a belt some flat shoes are you good to go i can really wear this with flat shoes because i'm not that tall i would sweep the streets with with me if i don't wear heels with this i'm gonna have to always wear heels with this dress but that is fine but a lovely printed dress in whatever print that you are comfortable in is an essential for spring and most of the time we take you through summer depending on the thickness of the material will take you into summer and then you look good um what are the things that i think also these are the things that i have with me these are the things that i packed with me in my suitcase uh i think you need a nice trench for spring 
a nice trench coat and if you, if you can get a lovely leather trench coat i'm gonna put on the screen one that i have my eye on it's from a french brand i can't remember the name but i'm gonna put it on the screen here that is an essential for spring what else would you need i don't i don't think you really need anything else a nice coat and for me to be leather you can have whatever trench coat you want i think i covered the basics of all that you need for spring if you can think of anything else let me know i did not include a bag in the video because <laughs> although i really like bags i could care less <laughs> about talking about them on the channel um for me it's more about like clothes and how you style them and how the clothes make you feel um, i think bags are pretty but they don't really make me feel if if my outfit is off or I, I don't feel comfortable in my in my outfit having a bag that i love or really like does not make a difference to the outfit for me so that's why i don't really talk about bags when i when i put out videos like this but it's been nice to have a, a you can add a bag to an essential for for spring whatever bag you like whatever style of bag you like Add it, add it to that um i think i covered the basics <laughs> of the things that would elevate your your style and your closet in spring um if i missed anything out let me know in the in the comment um down below this video is a bit <laughs> is a bit everywhere but it should be it should be fun uh thank you so much for watching and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm also going to include two videos here or other videos that you can watch. Thank you so much.